Hello everyone, sorry, I thought I hit live and I didn't. I apologize. Had a little camera mishap that took a little longer. No, sorry Debbie, I just thought I hit the live button and I didn't. I was talking to myself for a good five minutes there. Welcome, welcome. This is Hero Arts April Spotlight release. So I'm gonna go over everything that came out in our April release, including the two kits, the classic uh, my Monthly Hero Kit, as well as the Premium My Monthly Hero Kit. And I actually have it right here in the bag. So we're going to look at those as well as see a bunch of samples. And I will even share samples for the add-ons as well, because there's a lot of incredible add-ons. Hello, Cynthia. Har hello, Carla. Debbie. Hello. Welcome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change. It's a great kit. Yeah, I love this month's kit. I love the theme. The theme, if you haven't seen it yet, is a very folk art theme. I kind of wore my most folk arty thing I have, um, which I love. I love that kind of whimsical style. I love that it's very pattern kind of based, and I, that's something I really love. Hello, Kathleen. Oh, there we go. Hello, Cynthia. Hello, Darcy. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are here. I'm going to go ahead and change my view. We're trying to do picture in picture again today. So let me um, add that here. I was pretty good uh, on Friday with our make along with it. It worked pretty well. Okay, we got that selected. Let's add that. And let's switch our cameras around. Perfect. And let's see if I can make it a tiny bit brighter. I know the layering stencils are so great. Aren't they Vicky? I love them too. And not only are there a set of beautiful layering stencils in the um, kit, the classic and premium, because the premium has everything the classic does. Ooh, there we go. That might be a, a tad bit brighter. <laughs> But there's also layering stencils in the add-ons as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get going here since I'm already was a little bit late. And let's start with looking at everything that's in the kit. So let's pull it out here. So first, since we talked about it, let's pull out the, well, let's grab the backer card first because I love showing that off because it's so pretty. It comes with great ideas which I actually have all these cards because Jennifer sends me her beautiful creations when she's done. And I'm so grateful that I have them here so I can show them to you kind of in person in the live. But all these cards Jennifer created, aren't they gorgeous? She used um, the inks that are actually included in the kit for most of it. So that's really, really nice. And and the back of the backer card, you also have an actual list of all the contents. So we're going to start with the classic kit. And we're starting off with that incredible three color layering floral butterfly stencil set. So let's pull that out. So this is the set. It creates this beautiful folk art inspired um like butterfly and pattern, flower pattern background. I really love it. That coordinates with the next product I'm going to share with you, which is the cover plate that's included in the both kits. Hello, Jennifer. See, Jennifer's in the comments here. She, I'm going to be sharing her incredible, incredible card. She's so, so talented. And here's stencil one. Just going to quickly go through those real quick. They're each labeled. Here's stencil two. You can see at the bottom, it'll have like our code for the month, my monthly hero, April 20 or 24 stamp or a stencil actually rather. And then the third stencil. So those three combined create this gorgeous layered uh, stencil. And yes, Lee mentioned Jennifer McGuire's video. She shares an incredible video to uh, yesterday. So if you haven't seen it yet, definitely check it out because she shares a bunch of layering stencil techniques each one of them different and she shares with you a card and it's featuring these stencils from the april my monthly hero kit hello michelle so it's a great one i'm well everything jennifer mcguire makes is incredible but it was a really really awesome video i loved i learned a lot about kind of cool techniques to combine with layering stencils all right so i definitely encourage to check that one out 
And then, so let's can maybe tr keep them to the side so I can show everything, a little bit of everything that's included in the kit. Uh, I always have always thought that the uh, My Monthly Hero kits are such a great bang for your buck, a good bargain for everything that you get. So you get those, and then you get this coordinating cover plate die. And you can see that's basically kind of how the pattern, well, well this layering stencils will kind of fill in all of these images that you see here with uh, beautiful print, like, uh, well, patterns, beautiful patterns, and I love it. It's so, so pretty. Yeah, Christopher, she has amazing tips. Jennifer's the best. She's so good. Yes, tons of possibility. That's why my, my, my um, Becky, my head keeps going. Like every time I make one card, then suddenly I get an idea for another card because they're just, these products in this kit especially work so, so well together. She also has a great deal. Thank you, Cynthia, for reminding me. Yes, Jennifer has a great code that you can use and you can get some freebies. If you haven't ordered the kit already, you can get some freebies. Um, well, I, I kind of forgot. The code. I know the freebies. I forgot how the code works. I apologize for that. I'll look it up in just a half a second. But yeah, definitely check that out because she will share a code in her video that will get you a free blending brush and a tool caddy, which I use. Um, I'm going to try to grab mine here without knocking everything over because I use it religiously. I love it. It's so handy. Hello, hello. Yes, yeah, so that's a gorgeous, isn't it pretty? This is so, so pretty. It's such a great kit. So these work together, the layering, the color layering stencils as well as the cover plate. You can pick one card design and just make it over and over. Yeah, with, uh, exactly, Vicki, exactly. That's Vicki. You create cards like I do. I like to play with color combinations and that's exactly the fun part about layering stencils. It allows you to play with color combos, really quickly try different things out that you might normally not try and, um, and, and you could just repeat a card design. Okay, next up on our list is 16 coordinating frame cuts. So here's that die here. So there's actually 16 dies here and you have a butterfly die for each one of the butterflies that you actually see in this cover plate. So there's actually an individual die for each one of those. Um, and I, sh I share a video today that kind of combines these dies with the color cover plate and the stencil. So that's over on Hero Arts YouTube channel as well as on their blog. So just kind of another idea for, again, because these products are so great to be kind of used in or with each other. They work so well together that I really do feel like there's just so many different possibilities, kind of endless really possibilities. But this is a great little die set. You also have these, um, these little leaf and flower dies. There's a bigger leaf here. These are all images. There's another flower and leaf, another flower there. These are all images from this uh, panel. So you can, you can actually die cut these and then stencil them if you wanted to, and then add them in, or you can just use the die cuts on their own. So lots of, lots of fun ideas. Yes. I have some of your at two card or one. Of, I sh I'm sharing some of your cards, Essie, as well. I'm sharing a lot of cards today, so I'm trying to go through this quicker. But I have a tendency to get distracted, so I apologize. Next up is a clear stamp sentiment or message set. It's four by six, so it's pretty big. Lots of great sentiments in this. And for a great variety of occasions. So yeah, you make life beautiful, sending birthday wishes, you make my heart flutter, celebrate your day. That's perfect for tons of different occasions. So happy for you, wishing you the best. Flying by to say hello. I love these kind of more linear ones. And then thanks for being there and to my amazing friends. So a great variety of sentiments. And this is also included in the classic kit. I mean, wow, all of these. And that's not it. There's actually... One more thing included, well, three things included, <laughs> grouped together as one, and it's three reactive inks. You have Blue Hawaii, Taffy, and Splash. So really great inks. These will, will work really well together because blue layered on top of pink 
will create kind of a purpley color. And actually I have a bunch of samples of cards created with these three inks included. Um, I do want to point out these are reactive inks, which are some of my favorite inks ever because they work with water and there's just so many techniques that you can do with them. So I use the reactive inks a ton. I hope we make more reactive inks because they're my favorite. So let's look at some cards created with these products included in the classic kit. I'm going to start with Jennifer's beautiful cards. Uh, here we go. I almost grabbed the, I almost went to the premium. Isn't it a great color palette? Really pretty. Look at this beautiful card. Look at those blues layered on top of that pink. Really, really pretty. Here she used that stencil, that color layering stencil, to create that background. So you can use those stencils all by themselves. You don't have to use them in combination with the cover plate, which is great. Hi, Gail. And then she finished it off with a heat and boss sentiment using the message sentiment set that's included in the kit. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. I love her kind of subtle gradations that she gets. Kind of kind of can kind of happen naturally if you're not quite as heavy an ink blender as I am. But look at how beautiful she's got these little subtle gradations here and over this butterfly. So so pretty. Love it. Then she has this card here. Again, a little bit softer. I know she used the same inks, but she just did a lighter blend. She has a, she has a little softer blend on this one. And she used the dies to die cut out the butterflies so that they can be kind of popped up. So not every, the whole thing isn't cut out with um, the cover plate, but the butterflies are. So they can be popped. Let's see if I can hold this so you can see the dimension. And again, the sentiment is from the message stamp set. Let's put those guys up there. I love how that is soft, just a little bit softer. And colors used in different places. You know, here you can see that big butterfly. Uh, she started with stencil one and used pink as opposed to this card where you can see the big butterfly is, the back of it is blue. So she started with stencil one with blue. So same colors used with the stencils in different orders or maybe used um, one color with a different stencil and just controlled maybe how heavy handedly she blended and she got two totally different looks. Isn't that cool? I just love how you can stretch your supplies that way. And then we have this fun card that she created, totally different palette. And this is just a fun one to show you too. Yes, it's not, she went away from these three inks, but look at how pretty it is in different colors. Same thing, layering stencils, just so, so pretty. I love the purple. I love the purple palette. It's beautiful. She's so talented, right? She's so talented. And then I have a card that I created, um, different card design, but still stuck with just those coloring layering stencils. I mean, look at all the cards that are created mainly with those color layering stencils. Oh, thank you. Yes, the code is Jennifer April 24. Use taffy over and splash over top. Oh, great. Thank you, Jennifer. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can pull open. Um, no, I'm not going to be able to figure that out too quickly. But yes, please check out Jennifer McGuire's video where she shares a code where you get a discount. Yes. I always think of Libby whenever I see purples. I make say, oh, this one, this is an ode to Libby. <laughs> For Libby. Okay, here's the card I created. Um, use the, layering, the color layering stencils as well. Uh, and I used... I went over a piece of colored cardstock. So instead of starting on white, I started on a piece of colored cardstock. That's a fun thing I like to do every once in a while as well. Uh, and um, stuck with pinks, red, and green. And I have to be true, honest, I was not in love with this after I finished it. I was like, I don't know about this one. And then I went ahead and I added a little highlight and that changed everything. I was like, oh, I think I actually like this. The highlight's just made with a white gel pen. And the sentiment here is actually from the premium kit, a stamp set from the premium kit. So um, I'll show you that one in just a second here. We'll get to that. But yeah, that was a fun one. And it's, but this could easily be replaced with the sentiment from the message 
stamp set, just white heat embossed would be really, really pretty too. I kind of wish I just had done that instead of went with this, but I, I was, I got a sucker for those beautiful scripty swirly things. I thought they matched the line quality better than uh, that you see in my, with my white gel pen. So fun. Thank you, Cynthia. Yeah, I wasn't so sure at first, admittedly, but then I, I, it, I was like, oh, I think actually I do like it. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was this close to going in the trash. And then here's a card that I created. Um, this is again everything from for this card definitely is in in the classic kit. This is a video I shared today over on Hero Arts YouTube channel as well as the blog, and um, so I kind of go through the whole process of creating this card. Again, I started with colored cardstock. You can see here I used these dies up here, the sixteen. Um, frame cuts to add these butterflies and flowers so I could get kind of more contrasting color, pop them up a little bit. The whole video you can see uh, and check this one out, but that was a fun card. Love this kind of teal color. And this is the Adriatic, I always say that wrong, Adriatic, <laughs> I always say that wrong, cardstock. So lots of fun ideas here. Okay, so that's everything in the classic kit. Now, everything that's in the, so you in with the premium kit, you get not only everything that I just showed you, all of these products here, but you also get a, some additional products. Let me pull those out of our kit bag and sh look at those. Hello, hello. So here, when you get the, um, the My Monthly Hero kit, the premium stuff will be in like a little separate baggie. So I'll pull it out. And first up is this beautiful stamp set. This is the Birds and Flowers Clear stamp set. Look at how pretty it is. Obviously, sticking with that kind of folk art theme, you can see that sentiment that I just showed you earlier on my card. Isn't this beautiful? Love the sentiments. Love the images. And this would work so well with the stencils, would work so well with the uh, cover plate. It could even be used with these sentiments. I mean, really, really beautiful set. I love the birds. I think they look so pretty. And then you have all these beautiful flowers as well. And then there is a coordinating frame cuts to die cut out all of those images in that birds and flowers clear stamp set. So here's the coordinating frame cuts. And uh, whenever we have them, I like to point out there are dies for the sentiments. So all the sentiments in the stamp set there are coordinating dies for. You can see here's one, there's one inside of another one. And I think there's, oh yeah, and there's the other one right here. So really, really pretty. Aren't that, Jill, aren't those birds just so beautiful? I love them. And then there's one more thing that's included in the premium kit. And that is 16 washi stickers. So let's pull these out. These are so fun. I'm just starting to get into like transfers and washi tape and stickers. It's not something, because I'm such a stamper. <laughs> I'm such a stamper. I'm not used to adding, you know, not, um, which just sounds weird to say this, but me creating the images, even though I'm a stamper, I'm not used to um, you, you know, having the images kind of pre-made and then working with them. But it's really fun. I really like, because I can kind of cut to the card designing part, which is my favorite. So we got these cute little birdies. I like how they're kind of flip-flop that really makes it helpful to when you're designing your cards. Let's maybe put this out of the way like that. I'm trying to keep everything on screen. And oops, sorry if I bumped a camera. Oh, we got a bunny, a fox, a bunny, this big beautiful butterfly. Okay, so the the Olivia, the classic kit is $36.99.
and the premium kit is $49.99. So I hope that helps you out. Oh, we get another big butterfly. Oh, look how pretty that one is. Oh, I love the color palette in that one. Oh, that's a good idea. Gail said it would be great to you in a postage collage card. I agree. And look at that cute little duck. Another fox. Again, I like how they're flip flop. That makes it easier for card design. It gives you a little more options. I'm sure you guys kind of stampers know about that. <laughs> Having to do mirror image can sometimes be like, oh no, I wish I just had this flipped around. Aren't these cute? I'm also thinking these would be great for um, decorating your envelope for your card. Wouldn't that be cute? Just a nice little, like maybe just to seal like the envelope closed. Yes, Vicki, the descriptions are a little bit less if you sign up for like like the the plans and then we have all that info is on the um the uh our website so some flowers so lots of fun images 16 in all look at all that that's great so look at these beautiful all these products that are included in the premium kit most of them are in the uh classic kit really everything up top here the upper half is all in the classic and these guys down here are in the premium let me show you some cards. Uh, let me put this a little bit away because I don't want it to get, I don't want to distract from the cards. Oh, inside of the card, that's a great idea. You love washi stickers, Gail? I have not really played around with them, but I'm excited to give them a try. I'm definitely trying to decorate my envelopes more because isn't it fun when you get like an envelope in the mail that's not just like white? It has stuff on it. It's so fun. But it's some kind of it's something I do forget about. All right, let's toss all these guys back into our bag real quick. And I'll share with you some cards created with the premium kit. Can the washi stickers be purchased separately? Um, not the washi stickers all on their own, but you can purchase, let's see. Yeah, you can purchase the My Monthly Hero Premium Elements, which includes those additional three items that were in the, um, let me pull them out, this stamp set here. That those additional three items from the premium kit, the washi and the coordinating uh, dies for this stamp set. Here they are. You can purchase these three elements together in the My Monthly Hero Premium Elements and that's $24.99. So that's kind of like if you purchased the classic kit and you didn't, and, and then you decided after seeing the additional elements that maybe you wanted them, that's kind of why that exists. <laughs> Sometimes you make them as fancy as the car. That's awesome, Gail. I need to do that because that's, uh, and, and I get so excited when I see people um, decorate, you know, like I'll watch videos of people decorating their envelopes. It's very inspiring to me, so I want to do more. Yes, Gail said she just purchased the premium elements this month. That's awesome, Gail. They're great, right? They're hard to resist. Okay, let me show you some cards created with those premium kits. First is this beautiful card using that birds and flowers stamp set in the premium kit. She also used the kind of same color palette, I think. Jennifer, you tell me if I'm wrong. Did you watercolor these with those reactive inks if you're still here that's what it looks like to me that she watercolored with the reactive inks again that's why i love reactive inks so much because there's so much you can do with them and i think she did color them and i just love how beautiful this is and ink blended a little bit in the background use some of the sentiments really 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 good then we have this stunning card look at this she created a whole background with that birds and flowers stamp set. Jennifer and I were both kind of thinking along the same lines because I did the same thing. I did, so she said she did watercolor with the reactive inks. Isn't that awesome? So she used the inks that were included in the kit to actually color her images. So I love that, stretching your supplies. And look at how beautiful it is. They're stunning. So, so pretty. And she watercolored again with this one as well. 
then it's kind of minimal coloring too. Like she has a lot of white space, but isn't that so pretty? That's something I forget to do sometimes that you can do white space. I do, yes, Lee, I do. I'm kind of obsessed. I use them a lot. <laughs> Oop, we're seeing my card before already. And look at how pretty this one is. So she did use the layering stencils and did a very, very soft blend. So soft. Unless I, unless she, yep, very, very soft blend. So just add a little bit of interest. I love this idea. It's so soft. I had to double check and see if, it was, if there was vellum on top of that. <laughs> but it's not, she's, she's just, uh, she's not a heavy handed blender like me. But it's so pretty. Again, she's using more of those images from that stamp set. Just a little ombre inking here on her sentiment. That's cool. And a more kind of coloring, water coloring of those images. Oh, I love it. I love seeing too the layering stencils used in combination with these images from the um, birds and flowers stamp set. I'm forgetting the name of it. <laughs> so really pretty. And then here's a card I created. Like I said, Jennifer and I must have been, um, we're thinking the same lines, along the same lines. I also created a background with that stamp set included in the premium kit. I filled in my white space a little bit. You can see this is why I forget about leaving things alone. I fill it in with little dots with my Copic marker just to kind of make it like a little bit more, um, less distracting, less busy, which sounds like that wouldn't work, but I think it does. And then I stamped the images in actually a dark brown and then Copic colored them. So really fun. Card. So I actually have some more cards from the creative team to share with you. Let's grab them. Ooh, I haven't done this before with the picture in picture. Let's see how this works. This will be new. First up is Sika's card. Oh, there we go. Um, I'm gonna make sure you guys, can you still hear me? I actually, I'm sure you can because I can hear the echo a little bit on my phone. So I'm sure you can hear me. Look at how beautiful Sika's card is. She also used the some of the images from that birds and flowers stamp set. Thank you, Monica. And look at, she combined those images with the uh, cover plate. So she used the cover plate, just die cut like a, a subtle texture, kind of white on white background. Looks so pretty. She also was kind of thinking along the same lines as I was and she used that um, arched die to, to make a, um, like a focal point for her card. Really, really pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? So pretty. And then I have one more card with the, um, oh, that Pam made. Let me share that with you. So this card Pam made, and I love the way this looks. It's so cool. And she did such a cool technique. She stamped several of the images from that clear stamp set included in the premium kit in pigment ink, in white pigment ink. And then she colored them so, and she stamped them on black cardstock. That's the big key here. Stamped them on black cardstock, colored and then colored them in with uh, colored pencils, I believe. And this is such a cool, cool technique. I love how you get so much contrast and you can still see the beautiful white outline of the stamped image. It wasn't lost at all. And just, and you, and you get tons of color with those colored pencils. So really, really cool. I thought that was a brilliant technique from Pam and I want to give it a try myself. Oh yeah, Vicki, that's a good idea too. You can definitely impress, um, or, do dry emboss as well with the um, cover plate instead of die cutting. Yeah, it's a beautiful card. Okay, I'm gonna put that away. Uh, here we go. All right, so let's move on to the add-in. So that was our classic April My Monthly Hero Kit, our premium April My Monthly Hero Kit. Let's move on to the add-ons from this release because they are also incredible. All right, we're going to start out with a, another winner. <laughs> this is the Folk Animals stamp set. Now, there is a coordinating die with it, which you can see here, but let's look at the stamp set as well, or at first, I should say. And I did use mine, so I apologize. Mine's a little stained. Yours will come nice and beautiful and white and unused. But look at how beautiful this stamp set is. You have some more images, definitely 
would work really well with the images that were in the uh, premium stamp set. So different images than when this one. This one was birds. We have one little birdie here. We have a cute little fox. I love that fox. An adorable bunny. And then some additional elements to kind of build a scene or pattern around your critters. A couple sentiments. Let's take a quick look at the folk animal coordinating die. You can always purchase the stamp set separately, but the die you cannot. So if you want to purchase the coordinating frame cuts or dies, uh, you need to purchase both together. So we don't, we no longer have dies for stamp sets separately. So just a reminder. And here there are dies for all the images as well as the sentiments, which looks like I already used. <laughs> Because I did die cut one out. All right, so that's the folk animals. Let me show you some cards with that set. Let's see here. I have first up this beautiful card by Karen. She used that sweet bunny, kept it pretty simple with like an oval or circle, not oval, that's a circle, Shannon, and circle uh, window, framed it with those beautiful. Um, leaves and branch stamp included in the set. I love how she has that birdie kind of perched up on top of the the leaves. And then she has a sentiment from, um, what is that? Oh, what that sentiment's from, I'm not sure. That might be from our other set. I'm not sure where that sentiment's from. It's not from the stamp set, it's from another set. But my brain has gone blank on where that one is from. And then we have this card here by Elena. It's so pretty. She used that sweet little fox. I love how she used the branches. It's so fun to see the difference. Like here it was kind of framed around the rabbit. Here the fox is kind of perched on top. So clever how they use those um, branch dies or branch images. She does use the sentiment from the set that thank you so much is from the folk animal set. And she did some watercoloring, which I think is really pretty with these folk images. I really love that. And then next up, we have this really pretty card. This is from, I gotta look this up now. This is from Mindy. And she, look, they, they, everybody used them a little bit differently. She used the leaf and branches as well. Minimal coloring on her fox. I love that. I, I always try to think of ways to do, not that I'm opposed to coloring, but I think it's always fun to think, because I have to, that's a, a, a creative muscle. I, for, I don't flex as much. I, I always go very um, obvious. Like if I have a fox, I'm going to color it exact like orange and red. So I'm going to color it that way. But I love when someone does something different, um, not the obvious, and and when it looks so good and and it's obviously an easier technique or an easier idea. That's so clever. I'm always impressed by that because that's not my my go to. My go to is for pretty obvious. But isn't this one beautiful? The animals are so cute. I hope your arts comes out with a lots of. I hope so too. Ooh, insects would be awesome. We do have butterflies, but I would. Well, we need to have some other ones. Maybe some dragonflies would be really cute, right? Maybe. But this one is a really beautiful card by Mindy. Mindy's so talented. Okay, so let's move on. Let's put that one away. And let's move on to our next set. So another stamp set here. This one, I'm also, all of my products have been a little bit used, so they're not as clean and pristine as you would get them. So I apologize for that. But hopefully you can kind of look past the staining a little bit. This one is the folk art stamp set. Bunch of sentiments in this set. We have uh, just want to say thank you, happy birthday, you made my day. And of course, I should not overlook that beautiful folk art kind of pattern image. It's really large. Let me grab a like A2 grid here so you can see how well it would fill your card base or cover the front of your card. Really, really large image but there's also a coordinating stencil for this there is the this color layering stencil that set i believe it's 
called Color Layering's Folk Art Stencils. And I'll pull them out here, but you can see it's going to make coloring the this image very quick and easy. You can also use it all on its own, which is something always fun to do with stencils that you have that second use of it. Pull that out. I'm going to pop over to the comments one more real quick here. There we go. And let's pull that up. Oh, the stamp's really cute. I, what I like about the stamp, Gail, is that it has all these extra like lines that you don't see, that you obviously wouldn't have with the stencil. And I just like that extra detail. So here is the layering stencils for that set. So you can easily color the different parts of this image but it can also be used all on their own. And they can be used, so there's so many things you can do with stencils. You could use them also with um, pastes, but like take the, all the ideas that Jennifer shared in her, Jennifer McGuire shares in her video yesterday and they could be applied to these stencils as well. Yes, that's a good point. Yes, they could be, this set could be used year round. I agree. This, I could imagine this being used for like Christmas time. It almost has like a partridge or not. Is that right? Partridge in a pear tree. That's a Christmas thing, right? <laughs> How's that kind of feel? I could see it um, gold heat embossed. And then you can use some beautiful rich colors for it. But yeah, I could definitely see it for Christmas. And of course, just by changing the palette, it can be used definitely year round. Yeah, it's so nice when they're layers, right? I see because that way you can get, um, it's easier to get more colors in. All right, so that again is the Folk Art Stamp Set Folk Art Color Layering Stencils. Let me show you some cards from our creative team. Grab those. First up is this stunning card by Mindy. Look at how beautiful it is. I love all the color. I think that's really, she obviously used the stamp set. You can see the black lines, kind of the added details to the flowers, to the leaves. I, I love that again. She, of course, incorporated some beautiful gradations. Look at that gradation over those yellow, orange flowers and the birds especially. You can really see that. It's so pretty. And one thing I do want to point out for, um, or really draw your attention to because I think it was really clever. She added some black speckles uh, or black splatter. And I love that. I wish I did that on mine. <laughs> That's why I really want to point out because it's like, oh, I wish I had done that on my card. It was a good good way to kind of incorporate the black a little bit and, and fill in a little bit, add a little interest to the white space. And let's move on to another card. This is by, Nick, our, um, not Nicole, sorry, um, Emily. Uh, there's a trio of cards here, so you can see some of the other products. You see so, a card that features elements from the My Monthly Hero kit, uh, a couple uh, bird family dies that we haven't got to yet. We'll get to them, but they are part of the April release. But at the bottom, you'll see a card that features the folk art uh, stencil and stamp set. And I thought of, her palette was really pretty. I also like how she framed it kind of cut it a little bit closer to that pattern and then had that beautiful green border of our card. I thought that was really pretty as well. All right, let's put that down. And then I actually made a card with these sets, so I'll show it here. Mine's a little bit of a different take. I um, used the stamp and stencil in a little different way with the card design. I didn't just go straight forward and use this image as uh, centered on my card front. Um, I kind of stamped it twice, you see here. So actually it looked like this after I stamped it. And then I felt like I wanted to kind of fill in the space. So I, then I did a little bit of um, masking and stamped <laughs> the little birds here. But that was a fun card and kind of different, but I liked showing this one as well because this shows you how you can stretch something even when it's a big stamp set like this. And, and obviously the straightforward way to use it is just center it on your card front, but you can kind of play with it as well. Even though it's a big stamp, you can still kind of play with the design of it and 
Um, if you wanted to keep it e really simple, it would be really easy just to stamp it above and below like that and not even worry about the, I don't know why I stamped the birds. Really should, <laughs> should have left it just like this because it's really pretty just like this. And this one, um, I did do some little gradations with the stencils. That's how I got those um, color changing over the flowers and the birds and everything. But that that's pretty simple and easy to do thanks to those layering stencils. And the sentiment is from this stamp set as well. So really fun. Oh, thanks, Vicki. Oh, I, it's it's stuff that I, I, you know, I'm a card maker too. So it's stuff that I see on other people's cards. I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm always storing it away in my roller de roller decks of ideas. I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. I have to remember how to remember that. All right. Now let's move on to some dies that came out in this release. First up, we you already got a little kind of sneak peek of this these dies on um, Emily's card, but this this is the Bird Family Fancy dies. Aren't they so sweet? I love those. I'm guessing they're ducks. I'm I'm thinking they're ducks. So they're duck-like. So you have like this mama or daddy duck and you've got a little duckling. So cute. And look at the beautiful details you have on the ducks themselves. And then there's some additional elements to kind of build your scene. You have some flowers, some leaves. This is a really, really great set. And it's kind of a smaller set. So it's definitely swans. I didn't think of that surely. Yes, they're probably swans. Duh. Yeah, they're probably swans. Um, but this is a smaller set, so it's at a lower, a little bit of a lower price point. So that's always a little bit better. <laughs> Let's look at some cards created with the bird family. First up is this beautiful card by Sika. Look at how beautiful this is. She kept it very kind of simple with a darker blue cardstock. She pop, she popped out some of those negatives in the wings and on the body and just layered it up with some white cardstock and colored the little beaks probably black. And then I love how she used those folk art stencils. What we just saw, those folk art stencils without the um, stamp set. So here's what they look like without the stamp set in the background. And I love that as a background. I thought I kind of originally thought that was a little bit too busy for the background, but look at how beautiful it looks with those swans. <laughs> it looks so great. I love this card. And then next up, we have a card by Nicole. Uh, Nicole Spore did uh, a, a, some, a video. So definitely check her out for our shared for our blog hop yesterday. Um, you can go to Here Arts and find the whole list of everybody who shared their projects and videos for the blog hop. But she created these cards that you see here. You see actually see three in this photo. And look, she combined the um, bird family dies with the folk art stencil as well. And isn't this pretty? I love this one that centered here with that dark cardstock and the folk art pattern on top that's a very it's always unusual in card making to in stamping really to see that to see a bright colorful image on top of a dark background and i think it always draws us stampers in we're like ooh, how did they do that one <laughs> every time i see a dark background i'm always like oh what how did they do that so and i love how she colored her this one this a little bit different than sika she actually colored her die cut in with uh, Copics, I believe. So she highlighted those details with Copic markers. And that's so pretty. And you can see also how she used the flowers included in that set to fill out her scene a little bit more. Really, really, really pretty. The flowers and leaves, Vicky says, flowers and leaves in this set can be used on so many cards. Yes, they're great additions. It's always nice when they fill it out a little bit more with some additional elements. And definitely... Unicorn Pigment Ink is amazing. Yes, I think that's what she did, right, Vicki? She, I didn't get to watch Nicole's video, but I believe that's what she did. She used Unicorn Pigment Ink on top of dark cardstock. But I encourage you to go see the master. Go watch Nicole's video and see how she did it because I'm sure there's a billion other techniques that she shared in that the video as well. All right, let's move on to 
our next die. So in addition to the these bird family fancy dies, we have another die set, this beautiful folk fox <laughs> fancy dies. That right there, guys, is a very, I have to be careful with that one. <laughs> But this is a beautiful die. I love it so much. You can see how intricate it is. So pretty. A little bit hard to tell here as the die what this looks like. But this one, when I saw it, I just got so excited. Because I am I love intricate dies. I think they're so pretty. So when I saw this one, I was like, ooh, I'll take that one. I, will work. I would love to make a sample with that one. So let's look at some uh, cards with this Folk Fox fancy die. I'm gonna to try to not say it too much because I'm worried that that's a tongue twister and I'm worried where it might go. <laughs> but look at how beautiful this one is by Heather. I love how bold this is. She did these bold colored cardstocks. This is a pretty kind of simple, um, clean and simple kind of design. She did add decoration to the, the sides with that uh, folk animal stamp set from the add-ons. But she kept the that folk fox die, folk fox die, uh, pretty simple by using like a, a, a dark orange cardstock and then layered, I believe it's probably pumpkin. And then she did on top a, a papaya cardstock. We have like two oranges. And you can see the little bit of white she uh, either colored in or inlay little white uh, die cuts to the eye, the chest and tip of the tail. A nice little accent with that there. And of course she did add a little bit of black for the nose. Let's see here. Yeah, I am not saying that five times fast. <laughs> Otherwise we might have a, a mishap. And next up is Mindy's card. Look at how beautiful this is. I love, she did like an ombre blend behind the fox with some orange color, definitely popped it up with some foam adhesive so it has that nice soft kind of shadow that you see a little bit of dimension she did use the the flowers and leaves from the folk birds that I, I fancy dies to kind of add a little embellishment to the side the sentiment is also from the um uh, folk animals stamp set as well but isn't that one so pretty this one's very simple this is a very easy um, as far as technique wise card to create, but it is stunning. This one is so, so pretty. This really has a, uh, like kind of a classic look to it. I really love it. Oops. And let's go back over here. Uh, and then my card, I made a card with this kit. That's kind of, uh, I took it to like, <laughs> So they all did something, I went and made it hard, which is something I'm very good at. Um, I overcomplicated a little bit, but I had fun. So that's, I was excited for this reason because I saw all those details and I was like, ooh, I want to color those. So that's what I did. I die cut it out of white cardstock, colored all of the leaves and flowers in with my Copic markers. And then I actually laid this white die cut on top of some dark um, pumpkin cardstock from Hero Arts, kind of traced around it and then cut it. And then I just traced a little bit where like the nose was, where the flower centers was, which was actually really easy to see. It's like a, my pencil and just colored in a little bit. So I knew where to color with my black Copic to color in those details. I know I, I'm, I told you guys, I'm really good at making things complicated. <laughs> But I did have fun making it. And I did do a little bit of ink blending here and here on that pumpkin as well, just to make that tail kind of accentuate that that tail and the body here a little bit. But it was very, very fun. And obviously, since I put so much effort into kind of coloring and everything, this became the, the whole star of my card. Just a little bit of ink blending on the side of this um, pesto cardstock, which is one of my favorite colors from Hero Arts, and a simple black and white sentiment as well. So really fun. I love that box. So pretty. Love the detail. And it's a kind of an unusual one, right? You don't really see 
intricate fox dies. <laughs> so I love that. It's different and very cool. Okay, next up, we're going to take a look at this awesome die set. This one is definitely a huge winner. I always love Hero Arts. Um, let's see what they call these. They're like land, like scene building. They're trifold. That's the word. Trifold garden birds fancy dies. So these can be used in that kind of trifold style where you have like three panels for your card and each panel of your card is die cut with one of these or they can be used you could just use two of the dies you could use just one of the dies but this is a fun die set for kind of creating unique card designs or more fun fold kind of card designs that's what i'm looking for and i love this one i also think this is a good one if you do like to build scenes i could see some of these dies especially this one here like almost like uh, shrub, shrubbery. There we go. And this one here would be great for kind of building those layered scenes because they're a little bit like generic kind of. They could be used for lots of different scenes. So I love that. This one almost looks like snowdrops, doesn't it? Maybe it is. Maybe it is snowdrops. Yeah, trifold cards are really fun. And I also think you could do like shadow box kind of cards as well. So I don't think I have a lot of samples, unfortunately, with this one. Let me do a real quick look. I don't think I did find a lot of samples. Oops, that's not what I wanna do. So um, I will just share with you my card that I made. Oh, thank you. So here's the card I created with this set. I actually used them in a little bit different order, so that's a fun idea too. I think the intended order is this way. Oh no, yes. No, yes, yeah, I can't remember how the packaging shows it. Let me look at the packaging real quick. Pop over there. Oh yeah, it is the way I have it here. Good. So this is how it's shown in the packaging. So this is kind of like the intended, oops, I apologize, I bumped my camera. Kind of like the intended order, but this is one where you can just, you know, change it around. You can do however you want. How do you find a list of the makers and, and their blogs? Debbie, you can go to Hero Arts um, website. You can find our blog, like there's a little tab for our blog. Hit that, the first, I believe, second blog post, because today is my, the, today's blog post is on my video. But the second blog post show, is our blog hop post. And you'll see every card I shared uh, today, I believe, is in that blog hop. So you can see it that way. And even more, there's even more samples. So I hope that helps. Uh, but yeah, here's the little card I created. I used it a little, like I was saying, in a little bit different order. So that's a fun idea too. You can kind of use, you could even have the birds first if you wanted to and do the, the, all the shrubbery and plants behind them. But I really liked how the height of these um, flowers. So I kind of wanted, I like that idea of that contrast of them against the sky. So that's kind of, I changed the order of them. So let's, you can totally do that with your, with your um, trifold dies. And I did do a little bit of ink blending on colored cardstock and a little bit of like paper piecing where I die cut them out also out of colored cardstock, did a little bit of coloring and then um, fussy cut the rest of them, like the flowers completely free, the birds completely free, these purple flowers free from the rest of the die cut and just adhere it on top of my green uh, layer. So pretty simple actually. Um, but very fun and I could this would be a fun one to try with different color palettes as well Kind of switch it up a little bit Maybe I don't know may, winter. I could see maybe I'm not so sure about fall But I could definitely see doing different flowers and definitely changing the um, How they're or uh, Organized layered like the order of the layer. There we go Okay and now we have one more thing. That's it. We're on the last one already. The last one is this beautiful stencil. This is the Floral Trobe stencil. I really, really like the stencil. I haven't created a card yet, but I have a total, I have a whole idea for this card. I want to do, it reminds me of um, Batik. That's what this design kind of reminds me of. And there is a really cool Batik card making technique that I think would work so well with this stencil. So now I have to make the video, especially now since I talked about it in this live, right? But I, I the minute I saw this car, this stencil, I thought, oh, that would be so great for that technique. 
it, the style of it already looks that way. And then you add that fun technique to it for which creates this texture and broken. Um, oh, good. I hope I'm glad that's helpful, Lee. Um, broken um, kind of like, what do you say? Uh, what's the word? Tie dye like, you know, tie dye kind of breaks in the dye. Well, if you've seen Batik, you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this one's a really, really great dye. Also, kind of has a, for me, feels um, like Polynesian as well. And let's see, we have a beautiful card by Pam. She really created this beautiful ombre with blues. There you go. This beautiful card by Pam. I love it. She kept it simple with some light, well, dark ink blending first with her three inks, as you can see there over on the right. And then she did a soft, actually, I think she blended on top of colored cardstock, actually. Probably the Arctic are very, very, very light blue. And it's so pretty. And she has some like splatters. Do you see that? I love that. That's such a great idea, to, especially with this pattern, I think, to have some splatters. And again, she used reactive inks, so you can create splatters very easily with reactive inks. How are we going? Great. Isn't it pretty? I love this stencil. Oops, forgot to put that away. Ah. Too many things I can click. Here we go. Oop, I, sorry guys, my computer came unplugged. I hope you guys can still hear me. I'm going to, oh, you can hear my computer powering back on. Hopefully I can pop it back on in just a minute. Let me see if I can change. I was surprised it did so well for so long. It died, but I didn't, I didn't realize that the, um, the power cord was out of it, so I apologize for that. Let me see if I can switch, um, get rid of these picture. Just give me one second, I apologize. My computer's loading back up. It shouldn't take too long and we can, but we made it through practically. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. And I don't think I can pull this picture down. Let me see, because that was on my other end. All right, we're getting there. I'm so sorry. I didn't, I need to pay attention if my cord was plugged in and I guess I was not paying attention to that. Almost there. Okay, I'm back. I'm so sorry about that. I apologize. Um, my computer will die if it's not like constantly plugged in. And um, there we go. Okay. Yay, we're back. Okay, so that was everything from the release. Let me pop back over. We'll do a quick overview. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad you took that time to enjoy. Really, I mean, really appreciate Pam's beautiful card. Okay, I'm going to go back through all the products real quick. We now have first or last was the um, floral trove stencil. Really, really pretty. I can't wait to use this with that batik technique, but I also think this would look really great with paste, especially if you did like a ombre with paste. You tinted your paste with your inks, like a reinker, and did like an ombre with that. It would be super cool. I know, Cynthia, I apologize. Your poor wallet. Then we had the um, this trifold dies. I'm going to see if I can pull that up real quick. I, my na The name escapes me. Um, where is it? Oh, yeah. Trifold garden birds fancy dies. Then we had 
our beautiful fox, the folk fox fancy dye, the little tongue twister. <laughs> then we add the bird family fancy dyes. And then we moved on to some stamp set and layering stencil, the folk art stamp set with coordinating color layering folk art stencils. Love that one. And then last for the add-on was the folk animals, which again, you can purchase the folk animals, just the stamp set if you want. But if you do want to get the, comp, the bundle with the dies, that's as available as well. All right. And then let me pop back over here. Last but not least. Oh, yeah. That fo yeah. If, if you guys heard about the stencil for mixed media, uh, yeah, that's a great idea. I didn't even think of that. Um, and then last but not least is the kit with our premium stamp set or stamp set that was included in the premium kit. Stencils, cover plate, additional fancy dice, so much in the classic kit. This is all classic kit here. Message sentiments, washi tape that's part of the premium, then the coordinating frame cuts for the premium. And that's it. Woo! That's everything from the April kit. I hope you guys enjoyed the release. Um, I'm going to pop over here. There is an I want it all. Yes, there is an I want it all bundle. Let's um, switch that around and we'll just do it like that. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of looking at everything from the April release. It was really fun to share with you guys all the different cards. The design or creative team really just creates such amazing stuff as well as our guests. Thanks to oh Essie I forgot your card oh my gosh I can't for, I forgot about the digital there's digital prints and Essie's here and I want to share her card I almost forgot but they, there are also a couple digital um, prints that you can purchase they're digital I guess prints isn't the right word what do we call it digital looking it up real quick printables there we go so there's a spring flower panels printable as well as a stencil art digital kit so those like digital images. And Essie created a beautiful card. So let me share that real quick. So those are two kind of additional elements. They're not actual like physical products, but they're images that you can buy and print. So definitely check those out um, because look at these beautiful cards that Essie created. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? So the background that you see that here, the purple, pink, green, and uh, orange background are just four of the backgrounds out of an eight background. Um, a printable set that you can purchase on Hero Arts that came out in the April release as well. And I thought she just really created some stunning cards. I love how she framed it up with the black um, kind of matting behind that. Just really uh, adds an, an, like a, a polished look to them. So that is it. Uh, I don't think, Vicki, let's see, which one are you talking about? Which video? I don't think, S I don't know if Essie made a video for this, um, but I could be wrong. She's here, but she might have left because we were kind of uh, just about to wrap it up. But there is, there's lots of videos that were shared for the blog hop, so definitely check those out. I know Jennifer McGuire made a video, so definitely check her out. She shared, I know Nicole made a video. Um, Mindy made some amazing videos. And I have a video as well on our YouTube channel that you can check out as well. All right. So that basically wraps this up. These are digital printables. Yes, Vicki, those, the ones that Essie, that I just shared Essie's cards, the four, those are digital printables. Exactly. And there's actually one more digital printable that you can purchase as well that came out in this release. Um, so definitely, if you, if you like digital print, printables, <laughs> definitely check those out over on our uh, website. All right, guys, um, I will, there is a giveaway, a gift card giveaway. Um, I will pick a winner from our comments here left and I will post that. Um, I can't really do it live like this because I can't, I gotta like kind of tally up the comments and, and then do it afterwards. But I will um, let that person know that they are the winner 
for a gift certificate to Hero Arts. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me and your participation. You made it really fun, and I really appreciate you uh, sticking around even for that little hiccup where my computer died. Ugh. But I'm glad we were able to finish it up here. And, and if there's any questions, let me know. But that is going to be it for today. And let's see, do we have anything coming up? A live coming up? We do have our stamp along coming up. If you haven't checked out our stamp along, Jennifer McGuire is teaching in it. Um, I encourage you to check it out. It's our spring stamp along. It's coming up in a little bit less than two weeks. Uh, and it's amazing. It's a pretty low price to get uh, nine classes. It's all on our website. Uh, there is a bundle that you can purchase, but it's separate. You do not have to purchase products to join our stamp along. It's super fun. Uh, I definitely check, encourage you to check it out. Jennifer's teaching, Kristen and Werner's teaching. Uh, I'm teaching. We have a great list of teachers. Mindy's teaching. Uh, so many amazing teachers. Ralph is teaching. We have so many great teachers teaching. Um, so definitely check that out. And um, I will, I think, be, be, from now, there's a stamp along, and the next thing will be a uh, make along. So that's when I'll see you guys soon, I hope, in our next live. All right, thank you, everybody. I will post the winner for the gift card in here, and um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for, for sticking around and commenting. Bye, everyone.